So personal preference, but when you're on the range, what I would encourage is train as real as you possibly would. I, I've seen it on the range in the past where if guys are doing a, a long gun to pistol transition, you know, maybe there's a competition setting and it's fun, you know, it's fun to, to push it and it's fun to chase the clock and, and do the best that you possibly can. But I also seen guys will start to like kind of cheat their systems a little bit if they have, you know, um, pistol retention bungees on top they'll get those out of the way or they might start position magazines like so so they can be a little bit quicker i would encourage against that train as real as possible that way you don't potentially create a training scar that could bite you in the butt um, on the day for real all right so uh, on this one uh, the long gun to pistol transition i will uh, manipulate the bad lever okay so from the fight ready position i lean into the gun a little bit release the shot attempt to fire another one we have a stoppage Transition the pistol, the fire, butt, butt stock back into the shoulder. Gonna get rid of that mega wound as we reload. Guns back up and run again. So I am a fan of the bad lever. And I'll be honest with you, you probably may or may not have seen uh, videos in the past where I talked about how I started with it a few years ago, took it off, didn't really like it. I found it getting in the way or I was a bit too nervous of maybe inadvertently hitting the trigger rather than the uh, bad lever. But now that I've repped it out a couple hundred times, um, I'm pretty confident with this, uh, with this mechanism, all right? So that is the bad lever uh, use. Is it faster? Well, you tell me. Um, at the end of the day, it's, it's your kit. If you wanna use the charge again or you wanna use the bolt release, just know that there's consequences. So the reason I don't like the bolt release when the gun goes click instead of bang is if we are presenting the gun here, we get the, the long gun back up and running again, and we just push on that button, which is fine, that's what it's designed for. There is a moment where we may miss it, under stress, under rest. And then what happens when panic kicks in is everything turns into gross motor. So we try to hit it, miss it maybe, and then we end up smashing the gun. Well, now the muzzle is off the thing, the intended target that we need to address. Now there's added movement. That's the only reason I'm not a big fan of the bolt, uh, bolt catch release. Totally up to you. you. You do you. I'm just sharing a few things of why um, why I do what I do and the reasons for it. Remember, we all started somewhere. Everybody had a coach. Everybody has an opinion. I've been very fortunate to be exposed to, uh, to some really good shooters who have shared some stuff with me. I've adopted what I feel is good. And, you know, I disregarded what I either, you know, it just hasn't, uh, hasn't connected with me. So uh, the same goes for you. All right, one more time long gun to pistol transition, utilizing the bad lever. So, a little bit slower than normal, and I'm not making excuses, this is legit. This is a brand new carrier, and these inserts for the, uh, the long gun Magazines are still pretty tight. They haven't been broken in yet. So well, that is a tight, tight fit. And over time that'll work in, but hey, whatever. Work around the kit that you're using, work it out, make it happen, all right? So this could happen. You can pick that magazine up and fall out of your hand, whatever. You have another one, grab another one, work through it. Um, it drives me bonkers when people are like, oh, oh, and then they stop the drill. Fight through it. The real world doesn't care if the magazine carrier is brand new and tight. Work through it. All right. Six eighty three. <laughs> <laughs> 